This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We're on a job today in Greensboro, and the problem we've got with this place is the basement keeps continually flooding. So if we take a look out front here, you can see we've got some major problems in this neighborhood. This house in particular has a ton of water coming off this big roof, and we're basically got nowhere to go here. So we get water from the sidewalk. The road really doesn't put any water in here, but you can see that the house is completely downhill. And so what we're going to do, and of course they've tried to get the water out here, but this all just is a pond out here and the water's going in and flooding the basement. So what we're going to do is we're going to catch this gutter, take it across behind the bushes, take, catch this gutter across and catch that third gutter there. And again, we don't really have a good place to take the water to. And so we're just going to dump it onto the, the slab here. So there'll, there'll be an outfall right here from our gutters coming across there. Once the water hits the concrete, it will find what it, whichever way it needs to go. And we've got a channel drain over here. So that's one of the reasons we're replacing this outfall for the channel drain is just to give it a little bit more flow so mike's working on getting this done they had this I just made a video of this but if you want to go oh did you look, okay look, look at what just happened what happened oh it just came out with a bunch of water yes so, so, and, and it was only four feet back yeah so it was just it was just holding water like yep. this stuff does yep well that's why we don't use corrugated pipe I'm gonna put all this dirt right in there. Okay, so yeah, good I'll, call. That's why I pulled that out, just go in and have a place to. Okay, good call. But take a look at what's going on back here too. So again, there's just no real, this is just a basin all around and there's nowhere for the water to go. So the other day when I was over here, there was water just pouring out of the ground over here. And so again, there's no real good place to take the water to. So we're just gonna get it further away from the house. Brick. How's that shovel doing? You know, it's acting like it's brand new, man. It's digging itself. Yeah. It's like I'm not even doing anything. I wish you had told me about that years ago. I had all my things sharpened. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, you know? Hear that? Yep, sure did. I saw the whole thing move. That's her. That's it. So what we're gonna do with this pipe, this is coming off this channel drain. And we're about to be funneling a lot of water onto this concrete. So just kind of like a side project on this job is to get this with PVC just from here over to here. Because we really have no good place to go on this, on this property. You can see we're just sitting in a basin. You can see all the water over there. You can see there's a spring under here. You can see the water flowing up from right there. And he said when he had this garage built, he had to pay extra to have the foundation dug deeper and beefed up. And so this whole area just stays wet all the time with nowhere really to go. So we're just trying to get the water further down away from the house. So mark the spot. Yeah, just some logical point away from the roots. Just dig a little hole and have a pipe popping out of it. That's why you get a good knife. Don't be scared to use a good knife.
this is also why people love to use corrugated pipe. And you see what I'm doing here? I'm tying into this corrugated pipe that was crushed down at the bottom, which is what corrugated pipe loves to do. But I'm going to take this corrugated pipe and go into a different direction. The reason people love corrugated pipe is I can just take this and bend it wherever I want to go. It's a good thing about corrugated pipe. The bad thing is, is it doesn't last. I just finished resetting this pipe under here and I wanted to show you how we did it. So before they had a, the downspout came across and there was a corrugated pipe that came across here. So to try and save space and also give us the most fall possible, I cut the gutter high right there, gave us an aggressive fall and then a very aggressive fall across there. And we're underneath this deck here and they installed this to catch the water falling through the deck and that lands into this gutter and then goes in and that wasn't even connected before they had just blown a hole in the corrugated and so now we've got this going into a sanitary tee right here and then at a nice aggressive 45 out to the, the uh, sidewalk out there but we got everything hung up with straps so we should be in really good shape it's real solid we wrap the straps over here so if anybody bumps it if you're under here moving stuff around it should be pretty well solid for them so that'll get, get that water carried out of here nicely that opened up a location. It is, all right Mike what is what do we got here this is kimchi fried rice with pork barbecue on it amazing okay So this is lunch today. It doesn't get any better than this. Of course, You like it? It's got my over for a bit. I bet it needed it, but it's good. Up here around the top side, we've got everything in, and we're just getting ready to get things covered up. So we caught this gutter. We kept the gutter nice and close to the house here to not disturb any of the plantings. And everything's got really, really good fall there. We can see our bubble right there. So everything should be carried away just like we normally do. We got this into a little sanitary tee right there. A little 22 and a half. And we got three quarters of a bubble of fall right there. So things are keeping good grade heading on down here. By the time, yes. By the time we got to here, I wanted a, that's a combination Y, which is uh, a Y and a Street 45 right there. So that's a combination Y. So that gives this gutter a very aggressive sweep down, downhill. So we're in good shape over here. And this will finish up this part of the job. We, uh, we've gotten really busy with all the rain. And so we did this before we before a one wanted marked so we were hand doing all this so we figured we'd get it done before we brought the machine in next week we are back on this job and we got the trencher and we're going to finish up today so let's take a look at what we got going on here we've got a catch basin we're going to be setting us the small catch basin got the trencher here there's our outfall that we did the other day. We're gonna bring in some more riprap, build that up a little bit. <clears throat> so recall that we caught these gutters already and they're going down to that outfall. So now we're gonna put a catch basin. This is a large 20 inch catch basin. We're gonna put that right there. And we're having to hand trench through this little natural area. We're going to catch this gutter and then we're going to be going down through the backyard there and we're going to put in one more catch basin and then head around to the other side of the garage.
So this part of the job is coming along nicely. Like you're almost there. You're you're just a bare little bit hitting on it. Do we have a mallet? Yeah. You're in. How far do you want to go? Maybe an inch. Oh yeah, you're definitely there. Alright, that's good. I think that's a mockingbird, but the reason she's not flying away is she's trying to draw me away from her little fledgling, which is jumping around in here somewhere. There he is. Oh, there he is right there. See him? That's a little fledgling. So he's feathered and his eyes are open, very well developed. And there's the mom over there. No, that's a gray catbird. I hear her calling now. That's a gray catbird. Hear that cat cry? Free! So he's trying to draw me away, draw my attention away from the baby. So we'll leave him alone. Once I get far enough from the baby, the mom will probably fly away. Anyway, back to work.
All right, we got this catch basin in, and this catch basin I got at Lowe's, and they come with these little pre-done holes and, and fittings, and I don't like using these because it puts the pipe too low. So here, by cutting my own hole, the pipe is really high, and when it gets to over here, it's really low. And so you can see how much fall that's got in it right there. And so that's gonna get the water that builds up in here, it's gonna aggressively drain out of here as opposed to having to dig that thing way deep to try to have any fall to it. So I gotta find a supplier that has these 12 inch catch basins solid all, all the way around. It's the next day and I just came back here to finish up a couple little things. So we are good to go. We've got this outfall down here. And again, this, this whole area just is a complete pond during the rain. So there's no real good place to take the water. So we pretty much just gave it a logical type of place so there's always there's water running down all through here there's underground springs that pop up there's water that just bubbles up from the ground so this is just again just getting the water away from the house as best we can so we'll come back during the rain and see how we did